Game on Extra continues on Urban Television. Uh, Derek Ford. And yes, this will bring you our big, big story. Comes called VX. As simple as that. With me is uh, Hassan uh, the C the C <laughs> That is VX Uganda yeah, yeah. and the, our African champion down here of VX and Malinga, gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, um, and see, you know, what is a interesting? Said I'm called Hassan uh, James, mm. and uh, I'm the CEO of VX Uganda. Now, VX is a sport that is played in versions. Mm. V2, which is one, mm. and V4, which is two, again of the sport, is mm. which is a five aside. Mm. Now we play VX in the, the, the singles of V2 and v, V4 in mm. squash court. Uh, we use the, the, we the, use the a squash the court to okay. play V2. Mm. So we keep on scooping the ball, a mm. tennis ball, mm. and then we tell her to toe. So when you get hit, you mm. put the hand up and the referee says, play on. All right, a yeah. tennis ball a tennis being ball. shot at you. That is a very hard ball, you know. It's a hard ball out here okay. with the impact of the mm. body. This is a ball that looks like a tennis ball, but it's much softer. It's okay. much more softer with the low steel. Okay. Uh, Produced to uh, to uh, much impact mm. on the base. So you don't expect to be hurt. You no. don't expect to be hurt. That is yes, interesting. Yes, like as you see, they scoop the ball with that VX stick mm. and then target the opponent. You put the hand up. Is it and called the a stick? Says, Play on. A VX stick. Okay. A VX stick. Wow, is VX some sort of short form? Is there a, is there a couple of words that it means, or is it just uh, called VX? It means, it means, uh, it, it has no long version, but mm. it's just VX. Mm. V event five, isn't it? Okay. And then ten represent. X, X is, is it? So mm. the main version of the sport, like I said, five, five which means side. ten. So we have right. ten people side, and mm. then we have five balls on court. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, coming to you, the champion of Africa. That is uh, <laughs> in itself a very interesting. The sport I am told has been in the country for just. Um, how do you get interested in the sport in the first place? Yeah, uh, 2012. Mm. I was um, my friend introduced me to the sport. Mm. He said, "There's a new sport. Come and we try it out." All right. So when I went there, I never looked back because I found it interesting. You found it interesting. Um, I was like someone who would won before that. True. Yeah. My, um, I'm a I mm. played cricket, I played football. Mm. Interesting. So this this sport comes through, it takes you on, and uh, the rest is history. Yeah. Now three are um, a champion. How do you get to attain this? How did you win it? Yeah. First was in 2012, was in 2012 when the championship. Okay. I won it. Um, I beat a South African. Mm. Then uh, 2013, recently, I played, uh, I faced uh, like one of my... The colleague I faced in the finals was, mm. was a Ugandan. Oh, okay. Yeah, because in, in this way we play like we, we all play, we all come together and play. Then mm. you get the best too. Right. So he emerged the best, mm. the second best to mm. me. Mm. Then we had to face each other. And then you yeah. still won it. I still won. So it. you are a defending champion, actually. I am defending champion. Um, uh, coming back to you, James. Yeah, how yeah. many countries in Africa take part in this sport? Well, Uganda is the leading country. That is, uh, is so much more proud of we, it makes mm. us proud of you, our, our Uganda. Mm. Uganda is taking the lead on Africa. Okay. And then we have Zimbabwe mm. playing, we have South Africa, we have Nigeria, mm. we, we have Egypt, Tunisia, mm. and those are the countries, and then Kenya and Tanzania. Mm. I also played, they even Rwanda plays. But right. like, we see, like, like he said, uh, those were all beaten mm. by him in mm. the African National Championship. All right, yeah. uh, that is uh, pretty much interesting. So now you're going on to the world stage. I'm thinking you're going to be playing against people that brought uh, the sport to you yeah. um, at this championship. How much uh, do we expect of you? Um, I know uh, people are expecting much, mm. and I believe, yeah. and I know that I'm going to deliver. Mm. That's yeah. interesting. Because um, recently, the only threat I had was the world champion, mm. but recently he came to Uganda and I had to face him. Mm. So I faced him and I knew his tactics, now I know how he plays, mm. so I'm ready to go on and take it away from him. All right, and uh, who is this gentleman? Do we have a name? Do we? Yeah, do we he's called uh, Tom Hildred. Tim Hildred. Tom. Tom Hildred. Tom Hildred. And is that, that is the world that's champion. That's the world champion. Okay, this this world championships. How often do they happen, James? Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, the V2 mm. uh, version, uh, the world championship take place each year. The okay. V2, yes. uh, which is one against one, mm. right? Mm. And then the V the the, the, the V10 mm. takes after every four years. Mm. Yeah. So it meaning that next year, 2015, mm. will be V10. Will be a V10 so world yeah, championship. So that means that when we're playing V10, mm. even V2 is inclusive. Okay. So next year is VX games, mm. inclusive V10 and V2. 
All right, another new sport gets to come to you, and of course, uh, Urban Television gets to bring it to you, and uh, we always get to do it. Now, um, uh, we brought you Chelsea a couple of days ago. Uh, that is a totally new sport. It doesn't go into the level that these gentlemen are having theirs. Yeah. Now we do have uh, VX, uh, which is uh, pretty much interesting. Do you have something to put across? Yeah, yeah, I have much to say. Uh, first, I would say uh, what began as a simple thing, mm. I remember beginning VX in 2011, mm. yeah? And now it's coming to international level. Mm. And do you know, guess what? Who has brought this in happen? Mm. It's our sponsors. Yeah. Uh, record Liberty mm. Assurance Uganda. Mm. Yeah. Found on Gulf Coast Roads, Road 17. All right. Um, uh, wh what exactly have they done for you guys? Uh, they've given us a ticket, a mm. free air ticket. Okay. They've sponsored us with a ticket and the jerseys too. Mm. So they've to go ahead and participate. Yeah, to go to Manchester okay. and participate representing Uganda. Okay, that is uh, beautiful. Now, um, uh, as a player, Timothy, uh, you get to be, well, one of the top players in Uganda. You're a champion of Africa. But uh, at the end of the day, this is a new sport. And getting to the reality, getting to know what exactly gets to happen in the sports circles, it's always tough. You know, I'm um, uh, basing your livelihood on sport down here in Uganda. How have you managed to stay in there, stay motivated yeah. to keep going out there to play? Yeah, because um, the first time I started the game, uh, it really motivated me and I felt like I should go on with the game. So it is the love for the game that it's keeps, it's mo just keeps the you love going? for the game that kept me going and mm. I was like, yeah, good things are coming, good things are coming. All right. The last year we missed out on the visas, but mm. I was like, uh, I should continue with this thing. Cause okay, I you never gave I up. Have, I have something to protect. I had that trophy, so mm. I had to protect it. Mm. So I continued like that. Uh, luckily has come up i'm going to face the world champion all right yeah, you, you really feel you will actually have the chance to face him yeah i really have yeah. okay that is a uh, great stuff um have you had to invest your own money your own resources in this or have you been lucky enough to have people provide those for you um on the other part i've been so lucky because the biggest part mm. has been provided by the sponsors mm. but um also on the other part i've also put in something as all right as a person as to a person. you know make this develop yeah, to make yeah. it happen all right, James, back to you. Uh, clearly, you do not have much of a hassle like the other sports yeah. about sponsorship. Uh, you, you already have a man going out there. He's managed to take part in the African Championships, yes, yes. winning them twice already. Yeah. What challenges have you faced other than sponsorship? Because you've not had sponsorship challenges. Yeah, okay, all right. One thing you are, you are, you are, you are, you're not seeing is that uh, I'm having challenges mm. for sponsorship. That okay. is a must. You, you see, money issues are already difficult. Mm. But besides that, the other challenges are which are individual, like mm. interpersonal. When you look at people, when I, w when I, I used to call upon people to come and engage into a new sport, mm. it was hard. Mm. I remember reaching out to many people and telling them, showing them how the sport is, mm. and they couldn't give a hard, they couldn't give it time mm. to engage you into. But what I'm surprised of, and what it keeps me going on, is that he, mm. is, he, he came into the sport mm. right from the start, mm. and up to now, he's still playing the sport, and he's getting it right, mm. representing Uganda and Africa at all. All right. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And um, uh, going ahead, mm. let's say, to involve the Ugandans, yeah. have you reached out to schools? Because usually when someone comes up with the sport, the, yeah. the first advice they are given is, yeah. take it to the schools. Which schools have you gotten to involve? All right. Now, last year and this year, mm. we've made programs of how to engage in schools, but challenges we is we're having is that, importing the equipment okay, okay enough for all the students yeah 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 so mm. the equipment i made from the england mm. and so we need to import them so this way i can say we need more sponsors we mm. need more partners mm. we need more investors to invest okay. into the sport of vx mm. which has more impact just like right. liberty life assurance mm. has done with us well, looks like it is a worthy CSR project for those of you that are watching and you're in position to support the sports uh, uh, sector down here in Uganda. Finally, with you, uh, Timothy, your final words. The people that are watching, probably those that would want to join the sport, as well as what we should expect from you from the World Championships. At least you can re-echo that. Yeah. Um, my final words to the fellow Ugandans is um, to keep supporting mm. and uh, to really come up and engage in the sport because mm. it's a young sport it's growing in the country mm. and i believe i'm going to make it when i go to manchester mm. i'm going to do it and mm. i will deliver because i really have a name to protect and i want to make history being the first african to win the world championship all right first african and only african and actually only at, african this, at this at this edition all right and uh, when do you get to leave i'm leaving on saturday you're leaving on saturday and when is when is the championship championships will be on 9th mm. and 10th. The 9th and 10th. So that's pretty much next week maybe. Yeah. 
All right, we wish you all the best down here at Urban, and uh, we are glad that uh, we did get to host an African <laughs> champion. Yeah. And uh, James, thanks for the good work. All Keep right. going, and yeah. uh, we shall be helping wherever we can. And thanks for Urban, too, for giving us this opportunity. All right, it's, it's always good. Uh, everything starts here. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, James and uh, Timothy, the CEO of uh, VX Uganda, as well as the uh, champion of Africa, Timothy, getting to hang out with us today on the show. He travels on Saturday to represent Uganda and Africa at, uh, that is, uh, the VX World Championships this year. Do pray for him where you can. If you still think you can hand in a check here or there, you can get in touch with us and we shall get it to them. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a break. When we return, more stories right here on Game on Extra. Stay tuned.